Hi everyone, this is Robin from Our Wild Way, and I wanted to show you my latest homeschool supply haul. Um, I've got some of these things, the two big boxes are from Lakeshore Learning, and the other boxes are some used items that I got from some fun Facebook groups. Um, first are some books that we'll be using for history next year. These are the Ancient Greece. Um, this one is, is uh, History of the World. It's a nice overview. I'm not sure how much we're going to use it. It has about one page um, per topic. Ancient Egypt, Ancient Greece. City is a really great book full of excellent illustrations all based on ancient Roman cities. Um, the pictures are good. So this is a story of Roman planning and construction. Um, inside, as you can see, there's lots of, they're, they're almost like blueprints of the city. Um, they show engineering, construction methods, tools used during the time, really, really cool stuff. And last but not least, we have Roman News. Um, it's a cool setup. I've seen these books before, but this is the first time I've actually gotten my hands on one. Um, each page is set up like a newspaper, a front page. The content looks really engaging. The pictures are bright and interesting. And the content looks really engaging. Um, We'll have to see how much we like these. I might end up having to get more. All right, what's next? This is a really interestingly packaged package. I really like it. I like the ingenuity and the recycling. Uh, this was a lot of books I got um, by Gail Gibbons. I really, really like her books. We already have several. Uh, but most of the books that I got here we don't have. So we've got bats. They're mostly a mix of story and factual information. Um, they're really great, really accessible for children, and very nicely illustrated. We've got monarchs. Let's see. The story of the post office. Fire, fire, lighthouses. Look how lovely that is. We have so many lighthouses around here. My kids are going to love this one. See, season of apples. So it's a seasonal book, seeing what an apple tree will do. Apples. Those will be nice for the fall. Recycle, a children's guide. How cute. Sun up, sun down. A reason for the seasons. The moon book, which we already have this one. All right, what do we have next? This is another um, used book that I picked up online. And it is an Usborn title, Ancient Romans Jigsaw Book. Yes. In my last video, I talked a little bit about how much I like jigsaw books, uh, themed jigsaw books for the kids to work on while I'm reading or um, we're watching a documentary or something. And these are great. They are packed full of information with gorgeous little puzzles. This is gonna be a hit. I'm gonna see if there's actually more titles like this um, to go with our history study. This book I am so stinking excited about. It is ridiculous. This is the Atlas of Monsters. It's a brand new book. It's by Big Picture Press. Um, this book is all about mythology and the monsters from around the world. It's organized by country, continent, and um, all the monsters are laid out on the maps, as you can see. Really colorful, really well illustrated, and there's some great information. Uh, we really, really enjoy 
mythology and monsters of myth. Um, so this is just so perfect. It's going to be a big part of our curriculum next year um, with all the Greek literature. And we even have the perfect plushie to go with it. <laughs> our dragon is happy to have a book. Now let's see what we have next. Start digging into these boxes from Lakeshore Learning. I got some um, cool stuff from Lakeshore. A lot of math and I got these um, daily reading books. I got this cool light up timer. Um, that's really going to help my kids when they really like timers. Um, it just helps them focus and stay on track. Ooh, the flip flap reading book. Yeah, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. I wanted to get some fun things. Um, for our work through the summer because we do school year-round. Uh, let's see what I've got here. I got these composition books. Uh, these are a mix of um, illustration and writing pages. The writing lines are a little big, but my kids still write pretty large, so I think it's going to be appropriate enough for them. Uh, what else? What else? This is a little writing, creative writing flip book. It's really neat. I want to work this summer on writing a lot. So um, this book is cool. It's you pick your character, you pick your setting, um, and there's a there's at least ten or fifteen of each. You pick your event and the conclusion. So they can write a little story, but they can kind of get prompts along the way uh, to help them form a story. Here's another little story writing. Um, kit. It is sequencing and writing, so uh, it's kind of a double decker. It's got the sequence mat, and um, it's got little card sets. I think there's um, 12 card sets, and this is for ages six and up. Um, so the kids will sequence the story, and on the back of each card are words, adjectives, nouns, verbs that they can choose, and use those and the picture prompts to write their story. I think this is really cool. Um, it comes in a storytelling edition and a nonfiction edition. Um, this set is going to go really great with these little journals. We'll use them together and try to fill them up over the summer. Now what I have are some daily workbooks. So this is a daily math practice journal. It's just got a couple problems per day. Um, some will be review and some will be new. Um, and they do correspond with the file folder games. So um, that's going to determine which file folder game we do that day uh, based on which, which of those. Um, so here we have the fire folder game file folder games. I got kindergarten to first and second to third and I got the complete sets of each. So first we have operations. Um, let's take a look inside. Oh look how colorful and fun they are. Okay so they have little envelopes and boxes for all the pieces. So I'm gonna have to sit down and spend probably three hours <laughs> putting all of the pieces in the proper envelopes so that when we sit down um, to do them, they're all ready to go. Otherwise, the pieces are going to get everywhere. But look at how nicely organized they are. I mean, seriously, that makes it so much easier than having to like copy and paste these things out of workbooks, which are the other file folder games that I used to have. You had to make them all yourself, laminate, do everything, and it was a real pain. This... This is so awesome. You just buy it and it's all already made. Colors are great. They feel very durable, so they should last with multiple kids. There are spinners to go in each of these, so they're pretty interactive. Um, I think they're going to like these a lot. So the second and third grade set, totally similar. Same little boxes, same envelopes, little game pieces. Um, it's just a little bit more advanced. This is so great. We're going to love this. We, see I say we, but I mean my kids are going to love this. Awesome. 
Um, so let's see what other ones we got with the complete set. So those are the operation ones. Here we've got money for second and third grade. We've got place value. And there's 10 games, I believe, in each one. Let's see here. Time and measurement. Cool. Very cool. We're just going to base our math lessons around this all summer. Measurement and data. I'm, I'm going to get some cool, like, um, math books, math storybooks that kind of go with the theme of these. Um, I mean, we love reading. We love books, so. Okay. Now, there is a size difference in these boxes, and I think it's just arbitrary. The second and third grade boxes are fatter than or thicker than the kindergarten first, but I don't see any reason why they would be. Um, I think it's just kind of a trick. Um, here we have geometry, some cute little games in there. And last but not least, we have counting and place value. So much fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing. Um, there are some great items here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.